to go through uh, Key Sites Threat Simulator, a demo to show you how to get started um, and make yourself a little bit useful with this tool, why you can use that uh, trial uh, license available to you. So the workflow of the Threat Simulator uh, is done from this left ribbon from the top to the bottom. You can start from this deployment area where we're gonna give you a few deployment options of which we've already built in a how-to with a step-by-step -step configuration and perhaps some uh, templated YAML files. And even on the on-premise setup, we'll have uh, deployment scripts available so that in more or less, you'll just end up running this uh, as, a, you know, as a normal bash script. And then after you providing a name to your agent, uh, the agent would populate, would automate its installation and populate into your threat simulator dashboard. From there, we're going to move to our topology page where our agents will populate. So as we explained in our, ex our uh, presentation before, the dark cloud will act as an agent from the key sites uh, perspective to simulate external servers or malicious servers in the internet or malicious hosts in the internet. From there, each agent can be deployed, and we advise generally deploying agents between security zones or areas of which we would have certain devices between these two uh, agents, such as a firewall and IPS. This firewall and IPS would build what is called a security profile, and that security profile would identify what devices are between these two agents. And thus, I can verify if I need to make certain adjustments to say a generic firewall, <clears throat> let me populate this in here now. So a generic firewall rule so that I can understand what kind of remediations I need to have when conducting tests between these two agents. So as you see a little circle between each of these connections, this would, um, this would give you an understanding of which items are between these two agents in the path. So moving down, we then have our agents of which you're gonna have all the relative information required for conducting that test, which is the IP address information, and also some extra tags and information such as location, so you can identify if certain agents are perhaps in the same building, but a part of different networks or security zones. So after I've installed my agents, I'll head to the assessment dashboard. The assessment dashboard um, is the library of all the various types of tests that you'll have available to you. Uh, just to reference, this is an evaluation copy, so the GA version will have a much larger portfolio, uh, and we'll see more of that intelligence come from breaking point uh, over its uh, launching. <laughs> So from there, we have uh, three different categories of assessments, policy, instruments, instrumentation, and kill chain. The policy type test could be used, for example, testing uh, web content filter configurations at a, at a firewall to ensure that users can't connect to some malicious websites. From that, we can get into more complicated types of attacks, such as the WannaCry infection, well, once again, we're gonna give you all the information about how that infection occurs and give you a step-by-step -step guide for how that, that infection would be seen from a testable aspect. So you'll see this image of this ladder and I'll quickly go through this. So we'll have the agents that will be involved, so internal target one and two in this attack and the various points of which our dark cloud will be assisting in this attack. So as we read this, audit one, is originating a, uh, this exploit from the dark cloud to internal one, internal one target, and it's sending an external blue exploit with the goal of installing a fuzz bunch backdoor. If this is successful, I would then just move down to my next audit. Once again, I'm going to originate the request from dark cloud to internal agent one. And now we start talking about realism. As in with audit three, I'm gonna have internal agent make a fake DNS query out to that DNS uh, name server from our dark cloud. And then dark cloud's gonna respond with that bad information, but also to the goal of encrypting your hard drive. So once I have my assessment identified that I want to use and my agents prepared, I would head to scenarios. 
So from this scenarios pane, I would have a list of all the various type of scenarios. So you could see if I'm using a uh, certain type of assessments of focus. And for example, you see my top four here, these wanna, fly, uh, wanna cry infection uh, assessments. The variation between these assessments are the agents that I'll be using to understand that which agents will be susceptible to the, in the, the initial infection from the dark cloud, and then how could that uh, infection pass between various security zones inside my deployment, as you were seeing from here. So we have a different WannaCry test for each attack vector. <clears throat> So real quickly, I'll go to create a scenario. Once again, you're gonna be prompted in a very easy form flow where you're gonna get relative information about that test in a one, two, three chronological format and how we're gonna conduct it and where it applies in the cyber kill chain. Very easily, I'm just going to select specific agents and then run and name it and schedule it. So <clears throat> after I've built all these scenarios that I wish, as we were talking about before, maybe in the original assessment, I would conduct this test. I would see that it would fail. I would make some network configuration changes. And I would iterate this a few times until I know that my configuration is where I want it to be. From that point in time, I would schedule this test to continue to run on a perhaps daily or hourly basis. I would suggest at least daily, just to ensure that each day nothing has changed and that environment is still secure. The whole point is to always validate that my security posture is uh, ensured. So we will have these tests scheduled to run on a, you know, as I see here, on an hourly basis so that I can always ensure that I am protected. So after we've um, conducted some of these tests and I'll just get some of these started so we can see some real time dashboard effects while we're going through the uh, dash, uh, let's say the, uh, the results, excuse me. <clears throat> so I started um, this first uh, this first scenario and I've queued up a couple of more other ones in the side. And from there, we'll head to our dashboard. So the top end dashboard, as you see here, is a summary page of everything. So all the types of assessments that have been failed, the agents that are failing, the types of attacks that are failing, uh, and just a general overview of all that information from the tests we are conducting. From there, I can roll into assessment results from the top to now understand how are certain assessments of a certain type done. So as I explained, I have four scenarios that I'm using to ensure this uh, assessment of one cry infection is uh, good, if we're valid, are we protected? In this, we see that I only have a 20% protection score. So from that, I'll get this information populated below where I can start to understand at which point during this test did I block or was the block not accomplished? Did we fail in actually blocking this traffic? So I have one moment, try to bring down my browser. Okay, here we go. So you can see, uh, for example, uh, in this number two, demo five and demo six, I was uh, protected when I was doing the initial attack to the DMZ. But if I originated my attack, my attack to the branch office, I was able to get in and start to attack the alternative routes to my other offices. Apologies for the, uh, the web UI, we're having a little bit of uh, slow response. <clears throat> So from that, I can further go inside this specific audit, because as we see, we have the one through seven audit that we were explaining before. So I can go into details and PCAP generation. Let's just give it a moment. Life on VPNs is slow. Okay, so from here, I can get a, a, a total understanding of what was involved in this assessment and some information about the audit and some of the recommendations. First, so from the top, we have the agents that were involved in this audit, which would be the dark cloud going to TS branch one. In between that, we see our security profile, 
as we see an icon for a web application firewall, some firewall rule, and some fi uh, IPS. Real quickly, I will show you this security profile so you can see how it would show or be observed inside that UI. So we have an Amazon WAF uh, signature where we are currently uh, measuring on, as well as a generic firewall rule and IPS rule. From that, we can come down to our history. So each one of these bars is a uh, audit that was ran at a specific time, of which we can drop down this audit to get information about that audit, such as, one moment, as it would populate, <laughs> click, there we go. So you will see below that we'll have a lot of the information such as the, you know, the IP addresses or the names uh, that were used for the, uh, the name server requests and things like that. And then just some um, path recommendations or remediations that could be useful for this type of attack. But of course, we wanna make sure that the recommendations are useful for you. So whenever you click on the recommendations tab, based off the type of audit or test that was conducted, we will then look at your security profile, what is above, and then, then verify which actions can be done at, uh, on, the, on your equipment to remediate this environment. And apologies, I'm just trying to wait for this to populate. Here it comes. <laughs> Nothing better than a live demo, right, John? Oh, yeah, yeah, especially, like I said, across the Unfortunately, I, I have to be on the VPN for an immediate demo after this. I hear you. So yeah, yeah I got a little bit of that, that draw that latency that comes with that environment not a problem <clears throat> and it's almost kind of sad for me i've been running off of um let's say a uh, mobile 4g for the last two to three weeks i finally get internet installed into my office and uh i still have to work across this slow vpn <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go so once again based off the information that was provided in my security profile uh, and uh, the type of audit that I'm running, I would then see the recommendations that are relative for my equipment. So in thus we get in, in some cases we'll have, uh, you know, the, gener uh, the vendor specific type recommendations, which will give you links to other documentation. So in through this entire experience, you get to learn how the attacks are conducted. You get to find out how all of these different uh, vendors are remediating this environment. And at the end of it, you're gonna have a dashboard that's gonna be easy for you to always verify with yourself and with your customers that the environment is safe. And I think that's uh, good on my demo.